our theme has really come along, hasn't it? Uh, it's a big leap forward from a bunch of gray boxes. <laughs> so, you know, I'm looking at our, our layout here. I'm kind of scratching my head going, okay, what have we missed? What have we not gotten to yet? I know we have to do our photo gallery inside the sidebar. We'll get to that guy for sure, definitely. I'm thinking about, you know, our, our sub pages, you know, about us and coffees we carry and all that kind of stuff. Our, our comments form has really come together nicely. I think things are really coming along here. And by the way, all this dummy content is just to give the boss or the client an idea of, of what it would look like if there were actual content in these pages. And you want to have some graphics in there. You can do that and maybe some bulleted lists and the different kinds of content that they might have. But at this point, it's just obviously just placeholder material. Anyway, so I'm kind of going, all right, what else do we have? Well, what about search results pages or what about category pages? I know we don't have a search field on our site, not yet anyway. We'll stick one in in just a little bit, but let's go after the 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 category pages first. So if you head back to your main page for a moment and head into your, your blog loop, and we should see here posted in and then uncategorized, or maybe you went and created a category. I don't know, but go ahead and click on that. And that'll bring you to your category page. And he doesn't look horrible. He doesn't look absolutely dreadful, but he could certainly use a little tender design, I think. So you know what we could do is we have a variety of options here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back over to Coda and look for a file called category.php. This is the guy that's controlling the category page inside our theme. And what I could do, very, very similar, practically identical to what we've seen already, is I could take all of this PHP content and wrap it inside a div and then apply some CSS to that div and, and kind of go to town on it. So why not? Let's go to town on it. So this is just below the get header uh, call there. So I'm just going to go open angle bracket div, and then we'll create an ID selector here again, and we'll call this guy category. And then make sure that you take this closing div tag and move them all the way down towards the bottom there, just ahead of get sidebar, something like that. Okay, go ahead and save that up. Now, what do we want to do to the actual div itself, the, the category ID selector? Well, again, we have a bunch of options. Let's head back to style.css. I suppose what I could do is I could repeat what we did on the post pages and on the pages themselves, which was to make them look like the loop. So I could do something like this, number sign category. Let's go and see how this looks inside our browser. Go and refresh. There we go. Something like that. Maybe that's sort of the look you want to have with the sidebar, you know, present on the on the right hand side. That is certainly, you know, an option. That's certainly fine. By the way, just while I think of it, you'll probably want to add in that pagination PHP that we pulled out of our code bits. Remember we did that way back when to stick in that code there? You might want to do that again for, for these pages. So this is an option, certainly, but I thought it would be fun to maybe change it up a little bit and just throw some ideas at you and, and get you thinking about different different design options. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of what I just did here inside style.css, and that is to get rid of category from this set of ID selectors here. And I'm going to make category, or my category pages anyway, look completely different. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'll head back to my browser and refresh. So basically going back to where we started. And what I'm going to do is I actually kind of like this, this idea of the post spanning right across the entire page. That's kind of neat. Maybe we can work with that. The, the sidebar, maybe I decide I don't want to have on a category page. So we're going to go and toss him out. So head back to category.php and look for the PHP code that's going out to fetch the sidebar and toast it, just get rid of it, just like that. And then miraculously, the sidebar disappears from the bottom right corner of the category page. All right, now, once again, just for the sake of time, just to sort of move things along here a little bit, I've gone and set things up here inside our code bits page. Give me just a second to expand all this out. What I've done here is, of course, added on another section here, formatting the category page, and there's a bunch of CSS rules in there. So if you want to grab those and copy them and then paste them into style.css, and then what I'll do is I'll explain 
what these guys are doing. So let's paste them in there. Notice, by the way, that I'm not I'm not going after the category ID selector directly. I've I've set up a series of compound selectors. So if a loop post, which is a class rule, appears inside a category, then do all this stuff to it. Throw a background color onto it, set a width of 920 pixels, set a margin left of 9 pixels, set a border around the whole enchilada, and stick some padding on that guy as well. Okay, so these are actually going to create some blocks for it. It's going to look kind of cool on the page. And then the the category H1, I've gone and thrown some spacing on that guy. That guy there, the H1, by the way, is this guy right here, category archives, that guy there. So I'm going after him. And then the category H2, that is the post titles. Notice the text is really large, so I'm going to shrink that down. And then I'm going after my micro. All right, so you'll see how the micro plays out. I'll, I'll save that for just a second. So go ahead and save all that up. And once again, by the way, I just use Firebug to figure all this stuff out. So rather than us hand coding all this stuff out, I thought I would you know, set it up so we could just paste everything in and then you can see the results. So here we go. This is how my category page is gonna wind up looking, something like this. I'm not 100% satisfied with it. I'm not sure if I'm buying the amount of space between these guys, but I kind of like this, this idea of these blocks. That's kind of cool. I like that. So. All I did here is just threw in some formatting to help me control what's happening here. Again, there's the category H1. That's this fella here. And then I shrunk down the size of my H2s, resetting them back to 100%. And then as far as this micro guy goes, all I did is I threw a bunch of padding on the top there, 40 pixels, to shove them all the way down. And I tried to line them up with the bottom edge of the graphic. You might need to fiddle a little bit with your, with your values to get this happening. And then I threw a little bit of padding on the bottom there, a padding value, padding bottom value, sorry, of five pixels to format that up. Okay, so there you go. It's pretty straightforward, I think. I don't think it's anything too groundbreaking or <laughs> earth shattering or anything like that. And if you wanted to do the same thing, if you wanted to customize your search results page, all you need to do is go after the PHP template file that is controlling the search results page, even though we can't run any searches right now because we don't have a search field on our site. We've got to look after that. But in any regard, in the meantime, you could go after, if I can find them here, search.php. You could go after this fella and basically run through the same process. You could wrap this guy in a div with an ID selector and then go to town in terms of formatting the search results page, okay? So if you are so inclined, if you're feeling up for it, I say go for it on your own, have some fun and see what you can come up with. Try some different ideas and get a little bit creative with your CSS. Mm -hmm.